Hey man, if you don't have access to a gym or you don't have any equipment at home, then stick around. I'm about to show you some exercises you can do at home without any equipment at all. What's up guys, Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you some exercises you can do for every body part that don't require any equipment. So no excuses not to still build muscle, not to get lean, all right? So the first thing we're gonna start with are some leg exercises. That's the foundation, that's the base. You wanna make sure you're doing some good leg exercises. Body weight squats, that's one of the better things you can do, all right, when you're doing body weight squats. You wanna focus on making sure that you're hinging at the hips when you're doing these. You don't wanna just bend over, you don't wanna put any strain on your lower back. So make sure your form is correct, using slow movements, that way you're doing everything without injuring yourself. So if you're gonna do a body weight squat, hinge at the hips, drop down. One thing you wanna focus on also, feet should be slightly wider than shoulder width, toes rotated out slightly. And on the descent, make sure your knees are tracking in the same direction as your toes. And also on the way up into your contracted position, make sure you continue with your knees over uh, tracking the same direction as your toes. You don't want your knees to cave in. That's gonna place a lot of strain on your knees. So make sure you're doing those correctly. Body weight squats, you can also do reverse lunges, alternating reverse lunges. All right, the cool thing about reverse lunges you can place emphasis wherever you need it. If you're wanting to really target those quads, then when you're stepping back, take a shallow step back and then drop straight down, all right? When you're doing the shallow step, you're gonna put a lot more emphasis on that quadricep. If you're wanting to target more of your glutes, hamstrings, adductors, then take a farther step back. The farther you step back, the more emphasis you're taking away from the quad. So you can do reverse uh, lunges and target different parts of your leg. That's the cool thing with the reverse lunges. All right, next we're gonna go straight into some back exercises you can do. One of the back exercises you can do if you have a bar, even if you have two chairs and any type of broom handle, any type of straight bar that can support your weight, you can do inverted rows. Inverted rows, basically you're just gonna place your feet in front of you. You're gonna grab an overhand grip on the bars and then you're gonna pull the bar. You're actually wanting the chest to come up and touch the bar, all right? Pulling your body up to the bar. But here's the key point. Make sure your focus is on driving with your elbows. You're using your elbows to pull you back. And you're gonna pull up to the chest and then gradually, slowly release yourself back down, all right? Another cool thing about these inverted rows is depending on your strength levels, keep your feet straight out in front of you if you're a stronger person. If it's too heavy and hard for you to do that, then go ahead and bend your knees slightly and bring your feet closer to you. Then you pull up and that's gonna help take some of your own body weight away and you can still gradually progress from there. All right, another cool thing you can do if you still, if you have a bar, room stick or two chairs, sit straight up. This is gonna mimic a pull up. Basically what your focus is, you're gonna grab the, the bar like you're doing a pull up, but instead of pulling your body up, you're gonna pull down on that bar as hard as possible. Again, focused on pulling with your elbows. Pull your elbows down, drive them down into your sides as hard as possible, and that's gonna create an isometric contraction in your lats. So you're gonna wanna do that for time. So start with 10 seconds, relax, go into another 10 second pull. So do three of those, that'd be a 30 second isometric contraction. If 10 seconds becomes too easy, then focus on progressing. Go 15 seconds the next time, all right? But those are two really cool back exercises you can do if you have the two chairs and a broom handle or something like that. If you don't have that, you can still work your back doing an isometric against the wall. So basically what you wanna do is lean up against the wall, get your knees out in front of you, roughly 90 degrees at the hips. Fold, basically sitting into the wall, Put your elbows into the wall and drive your elbows into your wall as hard as possible. And that's gonna create a lat contraction as well, another isometric contraction. So you wanna hold that for time as well, similar to the other isometric pull down. So 10 seconds, build up to 15 seconds and kind of go from there to make sure you're continuing to get the 
progressive overload because that's the key to growth. Even with no equipment, you wanna make sure you're making gradual improvements from workout to workout or at least week to week. All right, so those are some of the great back exercises you can do. Now chest exercises, you've got the push-up. Standard push-up, just make sure that you are focusing on pushing with your chest. All right, so on the push-up, you want your arms to be straight in the, the beginning. You want your arms slightly wider than the shoulder width and then rotate your wrists out slightly. All right, that's more of a natural position for your shoulders and your elbows. So it's gonna keep you from creating any joint issues down the road. And then lower yourself, making sure your spine is rigid. All right, don't drop your hips. A lot of people drop their hips. Make sure your spine is rigid and straight and you wanna drop down to your chest. Good stretch at the bottom. And on the contraction on the way up, the key point you wanna focus on is making sure to drive your elbows, the inside of your elbows, you're focused on pulling those in together. You're not physically going to be doing that, but that's the mental image you should be creating. You're trying to get those elbows as close together at the top of every rep. That's gonna help create a massive contraction in your chest, all right? Now, if that becomes easy for you, then the next step is more of a upper chest movement. So you can focus on elevating your feet. You can use a chair, you can use a bench, you can use anything, a bed, anything to get your feet elevated, and then you're gonna do the same push-up in that position. That's actually gonna place more emphasis on your upper chest, all right? So those are some good chest exercises you can do. From there, we're gonna go into your shoulders. Shoulders are some other cool exercises. I really like doing the isometric stuff with shoulders. So you're gonna do an isometric lateral raise, side lateral raise. So you're gonna get your body perpendicular to a wall. You're gonna place your arm, make sure it's straight, and you're gonna put your the back of your hand against the wall, and then you're gonna push against the wall as hard as possible, contracting that lateral head. You can even place your opposite hand on the shoulder to feel it working. That's gonna help create a stronger mind-muscle connection as well. Just allow that muscle to constantly be tense, a huge isometric contraction, and do that one for time as well. Start with 10 seconds and build up from there, all right? You're gonna do one side, turn around and then do the other arm. So again, pushing into that wall as hard as possible. You're basically imagining yourself pushing the wall away from you. That's the mental image you should be creating. That's gonna help build those uh, medial delts, the side heads of the deltoids. All right, another cool one you can do for the front shoulders, the overall shoulder strength, is you're gonna get a staggered stance and you're gonna face the wall. All right, you're gonna place both hands on the wall in front of you. You're gonna build over, uh, bend over into a shoulder press position. All right, and then you want your elbows to be at about a 90 degree angle. You, that's where you wanna start this press. And then you're gonna push the wall away from you. Same thing, that's the mental image you're creating. It's gonna allow you to have a massive isometric contraction in your shoulders, all right? Especially the anterior head, the front part of your shoulders. You're gonna get tremendous growth by doing this. Do it for time and work on progression from there as well. But if you do these two shoulder exercises, then you're gonna get great shoulder uh, strength, great shoulder size as well. All right, now let's get into some arm stuff. One of my favorites for the biceps are a concentration curl with an isometric curl, all right? So basically what you're doing you want your arm to be at a 90 degree angle. Once that's there, you take your opposite hand, lock it out and place it into your palm. And then with your arm, your bicep that's at the 90 degree angle, you're gonna pull as hard as possible. All right, you're gonna pull, but also maintain that supination. Make sure you're rotating that wrist also to get a really hard contraction. And then you're gonna do that one for time. And then you're gonna alternate sides. You're gonna take your left arm, you're gonna place it at 90 degrees, Get your other hand in it and then do the exact same thing. You're gonna pull up as hard as possible for time. All right, and lastly, we're gonna go into a tricep exercise. One of my favorites is a close grip push-up. So, or close grip tricep press. You can call it whatever you want, but you're in a similar position to the push-up. Push -up. However, your hands are slightly closer together, right under your shoulders, even slightly in, all right? but also make sure you maintain that rotation of your wrists. Bring your hands out slightly to take some of the tension off of your joints. Once you're in that position, you're gonna bring your elbows into your side. Tuck them into your side as tight as possible 
and then maintain that position on the way down. Nice, good stretch. And again, forcefully contract your triceps on the way up. So at the top of the movement, your mental image is almost trying to hyper extend that elbow. All right, that's gonna help you get a, an extremely peak contraction in your triceps. And do that for every single rep. All right, so do that. Start with whatever you can, 10 reps, 12 reps, 15 reps. Just do it within your, uh, your fitness level, your conditioning level, strength level. Just make sure you're doing it under the right form. That's the key to all of this stuff is focus more on form as opposed to just doing more reps. You wanna make sure you're doing everything correctly, all right? But if you do all of those things, you're adding these exercises, you're focused on the progressive overload. That is the key point you need to take out of this video is don't just continue at the same pace week after week, month after month. You can do these, just make sure you are adding more time or reps each workout. You're building up to that progressive overload, which is creating a muscle growing stimulus in your body. Your body knows you're, knows you're doing more, so it's going to produce more muscle to make it easier for you. But all right guys, these are some of my favorite exercises for you to do. Again, you can do these anywhere. You can do them in a hotel room. You can do them wherever you're at. You don't have to have a gym. You don't have to have actual equipment to still work out, get fit, get lean, and get in shape. All right, so man, if you have any questions about any of these exercises, or if there's some of these exercises you're doing and you're not feeling, then comment below. Perhaps we can help you out with some uh, suggestions, some substitutions or something like that. But it's a tremendous group of exercises. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We've got a ton of fitness videos, nutrition videos, cardio videos, motivational videos, a lot of stuff out there for you to help benefit you older guys, man. So other than that, man, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.